If I had a gun, I'd shoot myself. When you look at this man, what do you see? Red Robin Young. Oh, no! Oh, no! Woody Woodpecker. Woody. Where have you gone? You went to buy beer and then never came back. Where are you at, dog? Where you at, dog? <gasps> what was that? There it is again. Is, is that? Oh my god! It's him! <laughs> it's him! I never thought I'd see you again! <laughs> it's, uh... It's sort of him. On Fox Kids, the Woody Woodpecker Show has all the bone-crunching action of our other shows. Plus, let's see, projectile launching, extreme bowling, weed whacking, brain popping, anvil dropping, and all the random noise making you can shake a snowboard at. The Woody Woodpecker Show, a true action program. That'll be next Saturday before Power Rangers on Fox Kids. You know, these mini AMVs would have a stronger impact if they didn't end so abruptly. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Funny Bird! It's a woodpecker from space! The new Woody Woodpecker Show is an animated comedy series based off of the Woody Woodpecker characters created by Walter Lance. It aired from May 8, 1999 until July 27, 2002 on the Fox Kids Network, being led by and created by animator Bob Jacques of Run and Snippy fame. He's also known for animating a short based off the Robert Crump comic called Tales from the Land of Genitalia, which includes... Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, shit. Uh... Thank God this movie's lost. We have the footage. Don't don't show the, you're showing the footage. No, don't. Oh my God! Oh nigga, you gay! <laughs> the show is very similarly structured to Mickey Mouse Works, that being minus the 90 second segments. Each episode has three seven-minute segments featuring a different Woody Woodpecker character. The characters range from Woody, Winnie, Nighthead and Splinter, or Chilly Willy. And they're all pretty much exactly like each other. But do I love them? Fuck Whoa. yes. And now, to make this review almost too similar to my House of Mouse video, it's time to rank these bitches. Bring in the tear board! Oh, oh yeah, come on, strip, strip for me, come on, strip, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, oh yeah! Alright, on the low tier, we got Not Ended Splinter. These kids are boring and so are their cartoons. On the slightly higher tier, we got Chilly Willy. Silent protagonist, kind of funny the situation he gets in, but that's pretty much all there is. Alright, on the slightly higher tier, we have Winnie Woodpecker's cartoons. And these are kind of okay. I like the situations that Winnie gets in. Her personality kind of gels with the cartoon, so... You know, it's how it is. And then on the top, we got the OG boy, Woody. You know, it's it kind of goes without saying his cartoons are going to be the best. They kind of put more effort into the cartoons that he's in because he's a star, which is, you know, understandable. So, you know, that's where these guys all fall. As for the show itself, it still suffers from that 90s stilted animation, but really fast-paced type of humor. It's trying to capture that old magic from the theatrical cartoons, but on a 90s television budget. It uses a lot of repetition. It'll usually tell the same joke three times and then move on to the next one. It's a way to pad the cartoons to make them feel longer than they actually are, because if you took out those repetition jokes, 
there's not a whole lot going on in these cartoons. And as for the jokes, they're exactly what you expect from a 90s show that's based off of an old cartoon character. It's very soft humor compared to its old cartoon counterpart. When slapstick or pain is involved in the show, you don't really feel it. The animation is always holding it back because it's really stilted. But again, it's okay. Does this show still have funny jokes? Yes. Don't jump, little fella. I'll save you. Wait right there. You're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, woodpecker. I'll bet it's a whole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. All right, those were all the funny jokes. Thank you for watching. Well, folks, that's pretty much the whole show. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's the perfect kind of junk food cartoon. And sometimes, that's all you need. 6.5 out of 10. All right, now finally the video is over. <laughs> There's another one? Why can't the video just be over now? Woody Woodpecker 2018 is an animated YouTube series based off of the live-action Woody Woodpecker 2017 movie. Oh, now fuck you, I'm not talking about that movie, dude. I'm already doing too much. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you... <laughs> Am I dead yet? I will give credit where credit is due, nonetheless. Compared to the last show we talked about, the animation in this show actually gives the action in Slapstick a little more punch. It has a lot more bounce, it has a lot more flow, which means it has a lot more weight to it as well. So when Slapstick is eventually introduced, it looks a lot more painful, ergo, it's a lot more funny. And also, I really admire how they try to do smear frames and those paintbrush strokes that implicate speed from the old cartoons. It's a nice, loving homage to the original. However, all that glitters ain't gold, baby. We gotta talk about the bad. All the glitters is not gold. <laughs> Gee, Zuss! Christ, these character designs look bad. I understand why you did it, of course. You have to compensate for how Woody looks, after all. They designed these characters to appear as if they were in the original Woody Woodpecker 2017 movie. I'm assuming they designed the 2D Woody first, and then designed everyone else based around that similar look. Does that mean it's good? Fuck no, baby! <laughs> Everyone's build and stature feels really off. There's inconsistent flow to their designs. Everybody's eyes are either too fucking big or too fucking small. And it doesn't matter the size of their eyes because their pupils are always too fucking big. Thankfully, in season two, they touched up the facial expressions so certain characters look a little bit more appealing when they emote now. But that's not what I asked for. I didn't ask for a fucking facelift. I asked for fucking facial reconstruction. Oh, what? Oh, I take back what I said about the animation. This shit ass, nigga. Who did this? Oh, of course, Splash Entertainment. The same people responsible for Norman the North Alpha and Omega and... I don't fucking know, Gasp. Gasp, who's in a bowl? He's in love with Ginger, who's a ten-year-old. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough of that. I feel very uncomfortable now. As for the writing, it's a giant mixed bag. There's like five good jokes, but then the dialogue just sucks fucking dick. Fucking dick! So, you guys making a movie? Need to start for your show? I've been in a couple pictures myself. I am universally loved. Hello? 
Wake up, guys. Can I get a hand here? How about two? Come on, guys. You're taking too long. Woody! Let's go chase him! All right, that's enough. Do you have a license to be a rabbit, Hey, he's doing that bit from the episode Scroopal 1943, right? Now, cut that out. You guys are crazy. <laughs> now he's doing that bit from Red Riding Hoodlum from 1953. I gotta get out of here! <laughs> hold it, hold it! Oh, my ride share is here. Gotta go! What episode is that from? I don't know. I guess I can't fault this show for having shitty writing when the original Woody Woodpecker also had shitty writing. But I guess in that one, it was just less noticeable. Anyway, let's wrap this shit up. I got more important things to do. Uh, all right. Well, what are my final thoughts that can be summed up in just one sentence? Wabbit with woodpeckers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to watch a good Woody Woodpecker show, just watch the fucking originals. You can skip this one. It's a YouTube series. I don't think anyone's clamoring for a season three, honestly. <laughs> Did we get it? Four out of ten. All right. Now I can finally get out of this dungeon. I've been... <gasps> <clears throat> Jesus Christ! How long I've been out for? It's been a while. Oh. Let's see how much progress I've made on that Woody Woodpecker video. All right, let's just get a look here. And... Shit, I hallucinated all that, didn't I? <laughs>